Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for February 28th, 2023. Well, the last trading day of February, and boy, yesterday we had ourselves quite a whipsaw. We literally uh, tried to ignore a terrible durable goods report yesterday and surge to the upside only to find that quickly rejected probably in a uh, little bit of a mean whipsaw uh, for those that may have rushed in to buy yesterday so what does that mean for today well how about we settle in let's buckle up let's get ready for the tuesday edition of the morning market prep video Good morning once again, everyone. Thank you so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Let's take a peek at these charts and see if we can figure out how we may want to approach the market for today. As you can see here in the diamonds, the, the good news is even after that nasty whipsaw, we held on to this price support here um, that came in on Friday. So we hung in there. I got to give that one up to the bulls but uh, we certainly left some uncertainty in that price action yesterday with that nasty 350 plus point whipsaw on the day. So let's take a look and see if we can get some idea about how we might want to approach the market for today. If looking at the chart, if we see those bulls find inspiration, you can see they're pumping up here this morning. Um, trying to once again pump the market and that's you know after hearing that um, uh, Japan's um, manufacturing or factory data declined last night we have France um, we have Spain inflation accelerating um, this morning over in Europe we have um, our uh, uh, certainly in the the major concern of inflation here in the united states and our manufacturing and durable numbers starting to show that there is um, maybe a bit of a shift in how the consumers are reacting um, so we'll want to watch this pretty closely as once again we pump the pre-market and try to get things going because we certainly cannot rule out the whipsaws that we've seen here recently now looking in here if those bulls can continue to find inspiration this morning maybe somewhere up into yesterday's high would be a place that we could test um, see if we can push up through there and if we can push through that i think maybe just a little bit higher to kind of test some of this resistance level over here in that chart you can see we've got some price resistance in there now unfortunately that's a big price swing here in the the dow so be prepared for some big price moves again um, as we may be establishing another wide ranging chop like we saw here on the diamonds if those bears find inspiration today well i would look for a retest of this support down in here on that chart and then keeping in mind if that were to break well there's not a whole lot left in here that's one of the problems when we zoom in directions to the upside without any major retest of support it leaves these big openings um, if we start to reverse so watch that carefully in here if we were to start and drop below um, that support area here in the chart i need to uh, straighten this line up um, as I can see it's not very straight there we go straighten that line up so we have a nice straight line there let's take a look um, at our technicals here now the technicals in the Dow are the most bearish at the moment with um, all of our prices you can as you can see dropping down below our major moving averages so as we rally back we want to kind of consider here that possibility that we could run into not only price action resistance but a pretty darn considerable moving average squeeze um, um, area here in the diamond so watch that closely if we take a look at our spy well spy responding bullishly still trying to hold that 50-day moving average you can see here in the pre-market we're pumping this up again trying to get something going here today on the spy as there still seems to be an unbelievable desire to buy tech 
um, even though we see um, uh, bond yields going up and um, uh, those interest rates rising, there still is quite um, an interest in buying. And if we look at a longer term trend, you can certainly see why there might be some hope that we could move on higher. Now we have price support through the chart here that uh, we're trying to hold, but you want to keep in mind we've also created a lower high and a lower light, uh, low, which means we are technically in a short-term downtrend with considerable price resistance levels above that we'll have to breach. So if those bulls can continue to push um, up this morning, we'll look for levels up in here first. And if that can break, then start looking for these levels up in here toward that resistance break or that support break that we had right there. And just notice that we'll be running into that potential downtrend if um, that were to occur. So um, keep a close eye on that. On our QQQ, same thing going on here. We're trying to pump uh, pretty hard in the pre-market to inspire buying this morning. Um, be careful. Um, like yesterday, I would suggest be a little bit careful rushing in. Um, how many times are you going to rush in and get uh, get burned by the whipsaw here on, on these days? Um, there's our price support in the chart of Friday. If the bears find inspiration here, I would suggest that there be an opportunity that we could retest that support level. And unfortunately, if we miss on that level, well, we could drop pretty substantially to the next price support area here in the QQQ. If those bulls find inspiration today, well then I would once again look for a retest back up in here to see if we can push up into that area of resistance in the chart. And then we'll be wanting to watch this lower high, lower low downtrending possibility situation that could occur in the QQQ. Our Russell IWM, well, here again, kind of hanging in there on IWM. Um, notice there's our price support that we held on Friday. Um, we um, um, uh, obviously held that again yesterday and we're pumping up the pre-market here again. Watch this carefully up here, these resistance levels right up in here. If those bulls find inspiration, I would look for these areas up here to provide that bit of resistance. And notice it's a fairly substantial area that runs across this chart. Um, so we'll want to watch that carefully. And also we have that potential, that downtrend, finding that resistance in the chart. So we need to respect those levels and watch them closely. Now here again, technically, we um, held above our 50-day moving average, uh, kind of floating up here above that 50-day moving average. And that is not something I usually like to see. Although we can bounce it in this area, um, we um, will often um, go ahead and come back and test uh, those major moving averages. So kind of keep that in mind. If we were to fail um, up along this downtrend here, if we were to fail here, I would look for that 50 day moving average to be tested. Let's take a look at our um, VIX. Even with that big whipsaw yesterday, it's interesting to me that um, the market is um, um, resilient enough to say we don't fear the we don't fear this at all now I cannot believe that because I know there's a lot of people being punished by these whipsaws um, and wide price range chop that we've seen here in the market as we try to ignore um, this economic data that continues to stack up pointing us toward um, recession so um, watch that closely here if we continue to push this up today, then I would look for this support area in the VIX to break, suggesting that no one, no one's too worried about the market. But I really think that's really um, uh, showing com quite a little bit of complacency based on the actual data that we're seeing in our economic numbers. And then if we are to see those bulls, um, or excuse me, bears engage, this would be the perfect area for them to engage. I'm not saying they will, but the perfect area to engage to create that um, higher low here um, in the chart. And with us being, you know, this is the last trading day of the month, I could certainly see the bulls, um, institutions trying to hang on to February as hard as they can and hold us up. Um, and, and then, um, 
know, next month, I think kind of anything is possible. And I think we may see a resumption of some selling next month. So watch that close. Now, if we take a look at our T2122, T2122 um, gives us maybe some uh, some more upside hope here. Um, we're getting that pre-market uh, pump right now. Um, yesterday we pushed right up here into that mid-range of T2122. So we're still well above our uh, bullish reversal zone, which means if the bears find inspiration today in some of the data, then we um, have a pretty big potential uh, to move to the downside. And if those bulls find inspiration today, well, we have that upside potential here in the market. So you'll want to keep that in mind and also kind of keep in mind as we slide into the end of this month, there could be that major shift of institutional support going into next month um with the data that we've been seeing so uh, just keep a pretty close eye on that and as we take a look at our t2108 you know t2108 has pulled back pretty substantially we've got 48 49 percent of the stocks holding above their 40-day moving average but i gotta say nothing terrible has happened here yet we needed this pullback to reduce that um overly extended condition that we had in the market but you can see right across this area there's some price support in here and we have this upside trend so if we can gain a foothold in here and push back up i can't say that this is a bearish chart in any way shape or form as a matter of fact it could be right at that point where we catch that rally back to the upside despite the data that we're seeing in the market if we take a look at our t2107 same thing is true this is still holding up very very strong percentage of stocks holding above our 200 day moving average you can see it actually bounced a little bit higher yesterday with 56 percent of the stocks holding above their 200 day now that's a fairly bullish um, um, indication in here that the bulls are resistant and holding up strong so we'll want to watch that possibility that we could find that support in here and push on higher it's also that point if the bears find inspiration this will be the decision point whether we're going to um, stay elevated or if we're going to push to the downside let's take a look at i'm going to skip t2101 and the reason i am guys is if you look at yesterday's uh, price action even with that big whipsaw we saw relatively light volume on today um uh, suspiciously i mean it, it is just a very weird market condition that we're in with all of these big point um, reversals and chop uh, that we've been experiencing here in the market so i suggest everyone be just a little bit careful because we can't really point to a major momentum direction um, right now in the market taking a look at our um, economic calendar for today now our economic calendar we've got several things here to be paying attention to first off we're going to hear uh, from international trade and goods and right now consensus is um, suspecting that um, our trade deficit continues to grow so watch that closely we're over 90 billion in trade deficit that's not a good number in any way shape or form so kind of keep that in mind we're going to hit some interesting numbers here now they're not really market movers but um, retail inventories and wholesale inventories might be very interesting to pay attention here today because we're starting to see that consumer um, you know we we heard from a Walmart we've heard from Target here this morning we've heard from um, um, Home Depot that consumers seem to be changing habits here and we might start seeing these um, inventory numbers grow and if that's the case that could be a little bit bearish for the market um, we're going to have Case Shiller um, housing prices in here we're going to have Chicago PMI which has been pretty problematic and bearish number uh, consumer confidence that will be an important number today and then of course that Richmond Fed these um, manufacturing numbers have been terrible 
and um, the market has just largely chosen to ignore them. So watch that closely. If manufacturing is not doing well, I would say the consumer is not doing well. And as you can see in here, we have added um, um, some speakers here on the afternoon, so watch that. We're going to, um, as we move into Wednesday, kind of keep in mind we've got PMI, ISM, construction spending, and that petroleum status on Monday with another Fed speaker and mortgage applications early on in the morning. So uh, Wednesday is going to be another interesting day of earnings and economic reports that could move us pretty substantially. Then if we take a look at that earnings calendar here today, well, we have a busy day going on um, in that earnings calendar, and we're, we're going to start winding that down. Uh, things really start to lighten up next week on that earnings calendar. But for today, we have a very, very busy day. Um, so if you want to catch the full list of notables for today, please do me a favor and click that link just below the title of the video. That'll take you back to the morning blog where you can catch that full list. I'll run through a couple here to be paying attention to. I've already mentioned Target um, this morning. Target reported um, and they squeaked out a beat, but essentially what they are um, suggesting is they are worried like Walmart and Home Depot that the consumer is changing habits here a little bit, that the quarters looking forward may not be so certain. So um, Target reporting here this morning, and we've got quite a few retail type things that we'll be reporting here over the next several uh, days. So watch that kind of a theme of that. Uh, speaking of that, we're going to hear from Ross Stores today. We're going to hear from um, Go today. We're going to hear from AAP, Advance Auto. We're going to hear from uh, the AutoZone here today. We're going to get reports from um, CLNE. We're going to hear from Monster. And we've got reports coming from Rivian that we'll want to be paying attention today as long, uh, along with space. Um, so there's a few of the notables today to be watching. Quite a few, um, quite a few stocks that could push us around here on the day. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me this quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click those bell icons when they pop up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful, if you could please click those thumbs up buttons and leave a brief comment. That helps the channel to continue to grow. And thank you so much to everyone who goes through other folks' comments on the channel, clicking those thumbs up buttons. I, I apologize I didn't get a chance to answer those uh, comments yesterday, uh, but I will be back on task here this morning. Let's take a look um, at um, some of these stock setting up. And remember, guys, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. As a matter of fact, you're going to have to be very, very careful here in the market because these whipsaws and these big point moves are suggesting that there's not a whole lot that we can really hang our hat on as certainty um, how the market's going to react to some of the data points um, as we move forward. Let's take a look here. Um, yesterday, I think I uh, mentioned uh, DK, DKNG, DraftKings, um, holding in here. And you can see it's trying to move up just a little bit here in the pre-market. Let's watch that area in here. This has been a very, very strong upside move. In fact, um, probably a little bit steep um, overall. I wouldn't expect this to continue such a steep upside rally for much longer, but watch that closely. Draft Crank Kings could be setting up here for that upside today. I think it's worth keeping an eye on. Take a look at FTDR. I put a price alert in here on this chart. Very parabolic move to that upside. This may require more time in consolidation or rest here, but I think it's worth keeping an eye on um, as we kind of consolidate that move out. Yesterday I saw um, some early price action in some of the big techs. Um, Amazon uh, tried to pop early on the day, pulled back, and you can see we're still holding on to this price support level here in the chart on Amazon. If you kind of squint, you can see that we've been building a very ugly uh, bottoming type pattern 
um, here in the chart. And we were at that decision point right now whether or not we're going to break this higher or break this down. So watch that carefully here. Maybe a little bit of confusion going on in that chart on Amazon. If we take a look at Microsoft, Microsoft also, we had the uh, big celebration on ChatGTP that came into play. And then, boy, we just took it all back. Um, kind of shows you just the high emotion in this market right now, how we're, we're just willing to allow our emotions to dictate our trading rather than the price action or the technical levels of the chart. And now you can see we have a situation here in Microsoft where we have failed below a pretty fairly significant price level in the chart. And any rally back in this chart would suggest that we could see more selling coming into Microsoft. So Microsoft is one I would put on the list right now and watch for that potential that this could pull on back in the chart. Uh, take a look at stocks like um, uh, fuel cell. Fuel cell also, we had big surges in this market and I was looking for that upside move to maybe push on through to the uh, through to the upside. But here again, we're starting to see some of those technicals really breaking down with a bit of a head and shoulders top showing up in here. So I would suggest that fuel cell um, could be setting up for that next short position to the downside. Any rally back, look for that next opportunity for that to push on lower. Um, as far as other upside stocks, boy, we sure love those casino stocks. We, uh, we seem to be loving the gambling um, at the moment, um, not only in the market, but um, in our casinos. Uh, Wing Casinos con continues to show lots of bullishness holding up in this support area of the chart. I'd kind of watch this area in here to see if there might be an opportunity for Win to take off here to the upside. Worth keeping um, a pretty close eye on. Um, we're going to hear from some cannabis today. Uh, Crone is going to be reporting today. It looks like a disappointing um, result. Here's another example of, you know, just kind Kind of those flavor of the day type stocks there was a, a time when these were just ripping to the upside now we can't seem to catch a bid in these charts to save our lives and um, looking pretty ugly here on some of these and i suspect we're going to see some of these maybe even blink out of existence before too long so uh, keep a close eye on some of those let's take a look at amd AMD is a position that I hold. It is a small position. I'm not trying to make any big bones in this right now. And uh, I was looking for AMD to maybe defeat this big downtrend and start moving up to the upside. But you can see we've come back for a retest of that trend as support. And we're uh, failing underneath this um, upside trend that we had started. So I think AMD needs a little bit more rest or consolidation in here. We need to decide if we're going to build some kind of a base to either push higher or push down. Um, and I can't tell you which, but I would keep a close eye on stocks like AMD. Um, um, NVIDIA is one uh, in the tech sector um, that certainly has shown lots and lots of bullishness after its earnings report staying very, very strong, even though it just barely eked out an earnings beat. Um, it doesn't seem to matter right now. Um, there's such a willingness to buy, despite the fact companies are not making the same kind of money that they were last year, um, but we just want to buy something. And so this has been pushed up here on that earnings report. It's holding in there nice and so strong. Um, I would look for that next opportunity that that could find those bulls um, in interest and start pushing this back to the upside. So keep an eye on that. Last but not least, I'm going to mention Tesla. This uh, Tesla has what a rebound here in Tesla that this is seen um, holding in here on price support and showing those bulls pushing on through to the upside. I think Tesla is making it very clear, breaking the downtrend here. Tesla's here to stay and pushing back to the upside. So keep a close eye on that. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I would expect another day of 
volatility and you want to be thinking about this flip over to the next month because I really do think there is that possibility that the institutional support of these stocks that we enjoyed so much um, this uh, this uh, last month may be fading to the other side and I think we could actually see those computer algorithms those CTAs um, start to shift more to the selling side based on the data that we've seen here lately. So be kind of careful as we slide into next month. So with that, everyone, wish you all the best. Have a great day, and we'll see you right back here bright and early Wednesday morning.